Welcome to my New Year's Eve vlog. Lauren and I decided that we wanted to do each a vlog to share with you what we were going to wear for New Year's Eve. Now Lauren is going to a Gatsby wedding, so if you guys haven't checked hers out, be sure to go check hers out. That was uh, uploaded yesterday. We are actually gonna to go to our club for our New Year's Eve celebration. Uh, we've gone there, this is gonna be our fourth year in a row, and this year's theme is Motown, though I'm not gonna dress Motown, most won't. But I'm really looking forward to it. And I decided this year I was wanting to wear something very comfortable. You know, you get so decked out, sometimes you got all the glitz and glitter and the spiky high heel shoes, and you are, you know, me personally, I am so uncomfortable as really early into the night. So I thought this year, I'm it's all about comfort. Because to be quite honest with you, I honestly don't even remember what half of the people, well, not even half, maybe 10 of the people even wore last year. So uh, I am looking forward to showing you my dress, my little boots, and uh, my jewelry, and my makeup. So why don't we start off first with <clears throat> my dress. All right, you guys, this is my dress. It is a Karen Kane. It's hard to see here. It is by Karen Kane. As you can see, it's like a leopardy print. I love the shine of the gold, a little bit of the copper color in the dress. Uh, it is, it's velvety, long sleeves, which is wonderful. And it's long, it's not long. It comes right above the knee which is perfect for me. I love this dress. And as you guys know, these are so much my colors. So this is what I'm gonna be wearing. Then I decided to add this real blingy necklace to it because it's not a little, you know, such of a blingy dress. So this is the necklace I'm gonna wear. And I'm sure you guys have seen this on our videos many times. So this is what the necklace is going to look like with the dress. So I think very, very pretty. And then I chose my Swarovski crystal earrings. I'm gonna wear these. There's a way you guys can see those. Aren't those gorgeous? So glittery, I love these. So these are more like, like an amber color. So I think that's gonna go beautiful, especially because the necklace also has a little amber in it. So that is the jewelry. I have not quite yet picked out what bracelets I wanna wear. So, and I've got so many to choose from, so that's gonna be rather easy for me to pick out. Then, all right, now on to my shoes. All right, these are my booties. These are by Adrienne Vettadini. I thought these were so pretty. Again, why I chose booties compared to higher heel shoes with more of a pointy heel to it is the pointy heel when you're dancing, it just really does a lot to my ankles. They just really get sore, so I love more of the square boot, but look, I love the gold here in the heel, the gold right here, so it's gonna go perfect, I think, with my dress. I'm gonna wear tights. Again, comfort, you guys, plus tights suck you in, which you, you know, feel a little more confident when you're sucked in really well, so, uh, this is gonna be probably the most comfortable outfit I have worn for New Year's Eve in a long time. So my booties with the gold, love these. And I think if you guys follow us on Instagram, I posted a picture of my nails. I love my nails. Look at the pretty Swarovski crystals. And if I was thinking ahead of time, I actually would have had her put gold, but that's okay. I love the silver with the pink like a nudie pink color. Uh, I do have a new shape, I had her shape them, and actually there's two names for the way my nails are shaped right now. And it's called either Coffin, which sounds morbid to me, but the other name is Ballerina. So I choose to say this is the Ballerina shape. So as you can see, it is just uh, squared off, but a little thinner, and then squared off. So not as perfectly squared. So I love this new shape. I think it's fun, I think it's really trendy, so I'm loving it right now. So I think it's gonna be the perfect little trending nail look for New Year's Eve. And I'm sure I may even do, cho choose to keep this after the new year. 
The next thing I'm gonna share with you is my makeup. Oh, and I, so I really wanted to pull out, <clears throat> excuse me, the copper and the gold from this dress. So the first thing I am starting out with, and what I did is I practiced with my makeup yesterday, so I was able to see it all come together. Cause the last thing you wanna do is put all of your makeup on that day of the event and then just hate the way it looks. Last year, that's what happened to me. So this year I thought I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to play with it, come up with a look that I really, really like, and then I'll be set to go come New Year's Eve. So the first thing is, is I'm gonna start with my face and this is the primer that I use and this is by Makeup Forever and this one is the Hydrate. And then next though, I'm not using my Makeup Forever foundation though. I am gonna use my new Guerlain Launch Laundry Dupo, you guys, I know I'm saying it wrong, but I got this, if you guys watch my vlog, I got this in Chicago. I am in love with this foundation. Love it so much. Now, <clears throat> the key with this is, when I put one pump of this in my hand, I'm going to put a few drops, and this is by MAC, and I'll make sure I'm saying this right, you guys. This is Pink Rebel Luster Drops. And what I do is I put a pump, of my foundation in my hand, and then a couple drops of this, and then I mix it together with my hand, and then I use my brush to apply it. It gives your face such a beautiful natural glow. I can't even tell you how much I am loving it. I did notice on my last couple of videos, you guys have mentioned how my makeup looks so beautiful, and honest to God, this is why as well. It's really just been helping give me that natural glow. I love it. And I, I really truly use this every day, but Thursday, New Year's Eve, I'm probably gonna put a little more, couple more drops in it. So that's for the foundation. And then next, the eyes. So I pulled out some of my ColourPop eye colors, and this one is, let's see, Farah. So this is gonna be in my crease, Farah. And I love these because these eyeshadows really last. They stay and it's, it will just take me well into the night. So that will be in my crease. On my lid, MAC Coppering. I mean, imagine just how gorgeous that's going to look with this dress. So pretty. And then somewhere, I think in the, in the inner corner, I'm going to add this other one by ColourPop. And this one is called, it's Amara A.M. IRA. Look at the gold. I love it. So gorgeous. Now, I'm going to use, of course, I love. I'm just a, such a fan of brown eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Scandalized Brown. I love it. I think it stays on me really well. It's so easy to apply. Uh, I just love because of my coloring in my hair brown. But I'm going to add a little shimmer and sparkle. And this is by NYX. And this is the Liquid Crystal Liner, and this is in gold. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be putting this right up here on top of my eyeliner on top. I think I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. So I'm really gonna play with this that day, though I did practice the other day, but I'm gonna probably put even more on because I tell you what, the day I practiced with it, Every time I just would catch myself walking by a mirror or whatever, my eyes just glistened. And I thought, wow, hmm, I really wanna make this even more dramatic. So I'm probably gonna add a little bit more for New Year's Eve. So this to me is gonna be key to the look that I'm trying to achieve with my outfit. Blush, I absolutely am loving. And this is one of my very favorite, I've talked about this so many times by NARS, and this is Teos. So this is the blush, and I love it because it stays on beautifully for me. I love the color. Now, when, if I decide I want to really brighten up my inner corner eye just a little bit more, I am going to add the Kat Von D. I have been such a fan of this, you guys. I use this every day. I love it. Not only as brightening up your eyes or for an eyeshadow, but even for a highlighter. And this is the Kat Von D, and this is um, Thunderstruck. Beautiful, oh my goodness, the color is just so pretty. If you guys can see a little bit on my hand. Love it so much. Now, 
you guys know, and I've talked about this as well, is I am so much in love with the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. This thing is phenomenal. So what I have been doing is, once I apply, I use the mm, It Cosmetics Sculpting. So I sculpt with the It Cosmetics palette. But then what I do is I always put, and it's by Benefit, and, um, Oh my goodness, my mind is completely blank. It's the one that was discontinued and I'll have to list it below. But I normally always put that one on first after I use the It Cosmetics to sculpt. And then what I do is I go in very, very lightly and I add the Champagne Pop right here onto my cheeks, very lightly with a big, you know, just a thick brush. I mean, not a thick, a, you know, just a fluffy brush. Just dab it very lightly. And then I apply my NARS Teos. And then I highlight my favorite with Pearl. I love this stuff. And that's when I just do all the highlighting down the bridge of the nose, up above here. And so I say New Year's Eve, if you really wanna just bling it up, this is the time you wanna get this palette and just apply it and your face is just gonna be so glowing and so beautiful, especially with all the lights flashing if you're going to a really fun event for New Year's Eve. So let me look and see, oh my goodness, the last thing, last but the most important I feel is lips. This is the Pure Envy lipstick. If you guys remember, I did talk about, I did buy the little kit. These little, there's four shades that came in it, but you can buy this singly, obviously, in a larger size lip color. The Pure Envy lipstick, and this is in, make sure I have it right, Envious. I have it on today. Guys, this is so gorgeous. Ah, oh, look at that. I think it's gonna be perfect. I've got, like I said, I have it on today with my leopard dress. So I'm really looking forward to applying all this again and uh, just getting all the glitz and glimmer of the golds and the red lippy. So I think it's gonna be perfect. So I'm looking forward to putting this entire look all together. Uh, you know, it's gonna be such a fun night. Um, I feel so bad that Lauren and her husband can't be there with us this year, but um, I'm sure she's gonna have a great time where she is as well. But I just hope that you guys have a very wonderful New Year's Eve. It's, if it's staying home, I know I was just talking earlier to Kristen Game. If it's staying home with your husband and just enjoying a nice relaxing night, I think that is just so wonderful. So have fun doing that. If you're going out somewhere, just be safe. And I just say, Happy New Year to all of you. It has been such a blessing to have you guys a part of our lives this past year in 2015. So I just say cheers to 2016. Bye-bye.